Hi, I'm Dr. Rupin Shah. I'm a senior consultant andrologist at the Sir H. N. Reliance Foundation Hospital at the Well Women's Clinic. An andrologist is a urologist who has had specialized training in the management of male fertility and sexual problems. And the role that we play in an infertility clinic is very important because in almost half the cases where a couple has difficulty conceiving, the male is primarily or jointly responsible for the fertility problem. So when a couple has difficulty conceiving, it is important that both the husband and the wife come for a checkup and the husband would be seen by an andrologist like me. And what we would be doing is multifold. We would check to assess the fertility potential, and that would be through a semen analysis, examination, and history. If there is a problem with the semen parameters, we would evaluate to see if there is something reversible, correcting which we could improve the semen quality. Or we may discover that there are irreversible factors, permanent damage, in which case we advise the couple that don't wait, things are not going to change, you may have to progress to advanced fertility treatments. Sometimes the infertility may be a sign, a marker of a more grave, serious underlying medical problem, and that too is picked up, and sometimes there is sexual dysfunction arising out of the stress of infertility, and that too is treated. The Treatments are, of course, very varied. If somebody has sperm but of poor quality, then lifestyle changes, medication, and sometimes surgery can help. But a unique problem is those men who have azospermia, no sperm at all, despite all the treatments. Now, these are men who need special evaluation to determine whether they have obstructive azospermia, which means that they're making normal sperm, but these are unable to come out because of a number of reasons? Or do they have non-obstructive azospermia, which means that the testes is not functioning and therefore nothing is coming out? Now, even when a man has testicular failure or non-obstructive azospermia, there are many men, almost 30 to 50 percent of such men, who have a few sperm in the testes, but these sperm are very few in number, and therefore they are not coming out, and there are others who have no sperm at all. So when a man has no sperm in the semen due to non-obstructive azospermia, it doesn't mean that it is the end of the road. 30 to 50 percent of such men could still have a few sperm in the testes, which are not coming out because the numbers are so small. And for such men, it is possible that these sperm can be extracted from the testes using either a needle aspiration, which is called an NTC or a needle TC, or by doing open microsurgery, which is called microdissection TC. And if these sperm are found, they can be used for IVFXC to produce a viable pregnancy. Finally, of course, there are some men where nothing can be done. This is often due to a significant genetic problem, but even picking up that this is the situation is important because then we can counsel couples for alternatives. So to sum up this brief introduction, the andrologist is the one who's going to see the male counterpart of the couple. And what I would be doing is assessing the fertility and if it is impaired, helping you decide what can be done to improve fertility. And while the diagnosis of infertility is a big shock, to the man's ego, well, there is still a lot of hope and in most cases, through one mode or the other of treatment, we are able to help you. So wish you all the best and thank you for watching this.